We recommend that you do the exercises twice a day for 20 reps a piece. In this exercise, you are gonna bring your toes towards your nose and then point them down. Do both ankles at the same time and remember to perform this exercise slowly. On this exercise, you're gonna think about pumping that fluid out of your legs because a lot of times after surgery, you're gonna build up some fluid and swelling in your feet and legs. Quad sets. In this exercise, you will be tightening the muscles on the front of your leg. You will do this by pushing your knees down into the surface you're lying on and hold that contraction for three to five seconds. If you do this exercise correctly, your heels will slightly come up from the surface you're lying on. Gluteal sets. Here you will be squeezing your bottom muscles together and holding the contraction for three to five seconds. You should be able to feel that contraction if you put your hands on your bottom muscles. Hip abduction and adduction. In this exercise, you will slide your operated leg out to the side and bring it back to the center. You should keep your kneecap pointing up during this exercise.
In this exercise, you will need a belt or a thin sheet. You will put the belt or sheet around your heel and pull your heel towards you until you feel a good stretch. In this exercise, we are working on your range of motion. So try to pull that knee up as high as possible. Make sure you hold the stretch for a minimum of 10 seconds and then let your legs slowly back down.
In this exercise, you will be sliding your heel towards your bottom and bending your knee. Then you will slowly bring your heel back to the starting position. We have a towel roll here made up of two blankets held together by two rubber bands. You could also use a coffee can and wrap a towel around the can or a small waste basket. Short art quads. In this exercise, you will be placing the towel roll under your knee. The starting position is with your heel resting on the surface you're laying on. Then you will slowly straighten your leg and hold that contraction for three to five seconds. Then you will slowly bring your heel down to the surface. Straight leg raises. In this exercise, you will bend up your good knee and keep that heel on the surface. Lift your leg up eight to 10 inches and then slowly bring it down. Long art quads. In this exercise, you will want to sit on a surface where you can let your legs dangle. Here, you will straighten your leg as much as possible and then slowly bring it back towards the surface you're sitting on. 
and pull your leg back as far as possible. Sitting knee flexion. In this exercise, you'll be utilizing the chair we talked about earlier. In this exercise, you will scoot to the edge of your chair and keep your heel on the ground throughout the exercise. You will slowly slide your heel forward and bring your toes towards you. Then you will slowly slide your heel backwards as far as possible. Standing heel toe raises. There are two parts to this exercise. In part A, you'll be raising up on your toes as if you're making yourself taller. Then slowly bring your heels back to the ground. In part B, you'll be lifting your toes from the ground. Try not to lean back or rock backwards as you could easily lose your balance. It is a good idea to hold on to a firm surface like a countertop or hold on to your walker.
standing knee flexion. In this exercise, you will be standing on your good leg and bending up your operated leg. You want to make sure that you do not bring your thigh forward and that it is parallel with the leg you're standing on. You will slowly bring it upward and then bring it down to the floor and then put some weight through that leg before beginning the next repetition. Knee extension stretch. Here you will place the towel roll underneath your ankle and you will relax for 10 minutes. 